Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin. A villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Don't worry, everyone. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Powell. Only, uh... Ah, uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest. No way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. You're thinking too hard about this. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. Wow. You were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. So you say. It must be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do, but still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The Admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and it was... Slow. Oh boy. You watched your friend die. That's... awful. Does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin-created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar! Don't look at his eyes! <gasps> Sorry, Jesse! I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic! So big! And glowy! Go! Going! Ah! Ah! Oh. Thanks. 
dismantling the tower! My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? Did you guys see? Jesse, we've got to go. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. What? What happened to it? Are you okay? Wow, you kinda oversold this one. This place looks terrible. I... I didn't know. It was... beautiful. It was... Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just... need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here, pal, it's okay. Are you guys okay? Nerm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and, um... It made him think of Luna. Nermi, no. Come on, pal. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, I know it's kind of hard to think about, but Luna really is safer in the Sunshine Institute. Fighting the admin could be really dangerous. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said. Zara? Look at this. My bed. Come on. She's freaking out about a bed. Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? Wow. Yeah, she's a... Uh... Not in a good place right now. Good luck, buddy. I'm gonna go over here. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. You made sure. He won't get away with this. 
We'll get back at the admin for what he did. Avenge your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now, like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. You want to destroy Romeo, don't you? Make him pay for what he did to you? Your town? Then you have to get up. Not much use stuck down here. What about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara. If you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even better? I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are. But you're still fighting. Why? The admin hurt the people I care about. Nobody gets away with that. Nobody. So I'm finding Fred's weapon, and taking him down. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless, unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead. I never say no to a little gunpowder. Close one. Fred's keep, here we come. Uh, Jesse? Who made eye contact with the Enderman? I'm sorry. It's okay, we're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! <laughs> Jack! I'm okay! No! Oh, need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. A.K.A. Trouble. Definitely smells like admin. <sighs> you don't know what an admin smells like. Sure do. Uh, kinda sulfury. Don't think that's a word. Magmatastic? <sighs> I'm Jesse. Hi. And this is Jack. Really? You're seriously making introductions right now? <laughs> we 
been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding! You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself! <laughs> Yeah. Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. The first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. So tired. You should help us because it's the right thing to do. If you see someone in trouble, you have to do something. You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. Whoosh! Come on, come on. Just uh, gotta get some leverage. Unlike the angles here, I can do this all day. Or night, I suppose. Kinda the same thing down here. Here. And one more makes two. Fine. But pull me up first. One nasty fall. Thank you. Those are fine blades. Oh, now I'm being rude. The name's Pork Job. And this here's my crew. The toughest scavengers you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Hiya. Sup. Best be careful as you get on your way. You're looking a little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, watch out. <laughs> Never know when a cliff will just... Jump out at ya! Boo! No. <laughs> Boo! You got me! <laughs> you are both clearly disturbed individuals. No, really. Monsters are everywhere. Don't worry about us. We're tougher than we look. Ooh, I bet you are. Be seeing ya, toodles! <laughs> One last piece of advice? Keep your eyes peeled. You're not alone down here. Yeah, squeakies! <laughs> <laughs>